What we are talking about is a revolution. The feminist icon who helped turn a moment into a movement. Meet Gloria Steinem. In her mid-twenties, Gloria moved to New York to pursue a career as a political writer, but serious writing roles for women were scarce. I was assigned things about fashion and food and makeup and babies. A blockbuster story about going undercover as a Playboy bunny put her on the map, but it didn't result in better assignments. I regret it for many years having done it because it made me unserious. Frustrated by the limitations her gender placed on her career, Gloria got involved in the growing women's movement of the late 1960s. I, I don't think I'd ever felt part of a group before. I became aware that I could no longer only write about something, I had to also act on it. She began traveling the country, mobilizing women to demand equal rights. Wherever we went, there would be these huge crowds and people would stay for hours afterwards and talk and form groups. Her signature hairstyle and aviator glasses got plenty of media attention. Everybody was so convinced that feminists could not possibly look okay because if you could get a man, why do you need equal pay? So they... <laughs> but it was her fearlessness that kept the cameras rolling. We are the women that our parents warned us about and we are proud. Gloria eventually found a way to unite her two passions, writing and activism, by co-founding Ms. Magazine in 1971, the first mainstream publication to focus on women's equality. And she helped organize the 1977 National Women's Conference in Houston, giving gender equality its biggest platform yet. The event drew 18,000 attendees, and address concerns that still exist today. The issue of child care is no longer one of choice for wealthy women. It's a matter of necessity for all women. She's working to ensure that black women's voices are incorporated in our feminist history. The women's movement has always been disproportionately black women. And it's very uh, hurtful and frustrating, I think, that it is portrayed differently. And her best-selling books have led the conversation on gender equality through five decades of change. Multiple actresses have played her on stage and screen, but her main focus, encouraging everyone to act. If you don't vote, you don't exist. Gloria Steinem, continuing the revolution. <laughs>